Good morning. It is Sunday, February 24th, 2019, and this is Morning Ruck March with Sergeant Woodard and Private Gus. Uh, as you can tell, the sun has come up. Um, it's still very early in the morning, but Gus and I decided that we are going to get some rest today and uh, go out without the rucksack. So I'm going to uh, take him to one of our local parks, get him to walk around a bit. Uh, I'm still wearing the boots and everything else. Uh, no vest, no ruck today. I needed to give my back a rest. Yesterday, I gave a video drive-through of the uh, Crown Jewel in the Arlington Park System, which is the River Legacy Parks. And uh, I didn't get a chance to touch on something that uh, I, I feel personally uh, you know, very pleased to be involved with as a parent. And that is the, uh, the arts here in Arlington and a, a program that we attended as a family the other night, which is the AISD show choir showcase. And I'll, for those of you who aren't from Arlington, who aren't familiar with this, I'll give you a real brief rundown, if you will. Um, what this is, it is a program where the show choirs from all of Arlington's high schools, all five of them come together in one place and they perform and demonstrate their talent. And I will say, I am extremely impressed. I've been impressed with, with this um, showcase for a number of years. Uh, Sam Houston got finally came in and, and uh, was able to participate Friday night. And uh, I can say that this town produces so much talent and this school district produces so much talent, it will blow your mind if you're not from Arlington. Athletically, academically, and through the arts, much is produced. And I think that a great aspect of the, the arts program that we have here, it helps to develop the whole person. And you'll see when you take a look at some of these uh, music programs, whether it's uh, the various choirs, the show choirs, uh, the performing choirs, orchestras, whatever, um, you will find kids that are uh, in engineering programs, uh, take part in doing robotics. You'll have athletes. In fact, Ar Arlington Martin High School is producing a young lady who's graduating this year. I won't mention names, but uh, she's athletic or Olympic level talent uh, in track and field. And she's a cheerleader, she's show choir, and she, I believe it was, she set a high school record for a uh, high jump. And uh, so, there's a lot of talent here. Um, also, this this system has, uh, or the city has produced what I find an ironic dichotomy in the music. On one end, you have pentatonics, which came out of Arlington Martin, Go Warriors, you looked, uh, which came out of Martin during a cappella uh, group, uh, became very famous on TV and in surprisingly now it blows my mind when I hear someone doesn't know who they are so you've got pentatonics on one end and on the other end Pantera thrash metal and uh, Dimebag Daryl Gates uh, lived in Pantigo may he rest in peace so th this town it must be the water or the air or maybe even the pollen that produces all kinds of talent that comes out of here and uh, I want to give a big shout out to uh, the Martin High School Choir program because they developed uh, two of my kids. Uh, obviously Bailey, who's going to school now up in uh, Fordham University in New York, and Riley, who is now in her second year within the program. And uh, I, obviously a big shout out to the choir director, Kay Owens, who has helped to develop some brilliant kids. And then Betsy Howerton and Dylan Quarter, uh, who are her partners in, uh, in working with these folks. And the time that they put in and the effort that they put in is monumental. And all I can say is thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything that all y'all have done to help grow these kids and get them to participate in a wide variety of programs, whether it's a UIL uh, choir programs or the uh, TMEA programs uh, and, and performances. And I will say this, and let's see, uh, Bailey got to perform at Carnegie Hall and in Washington with this choir. 
and Riley gets to go to London in May with the choir and the orchestra from Martin Go Warriors High School. That's pretty awesome, I think. So, anyways, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Gus is really wanting to get out. I need to walk a little bit and uh, see if I can rub off a small toenail because it's really getting on my nerves and I'm getting ready to cut it off like cut it off because it's driving me nuts but um everyone have a wonderful sunday get out spend some time outside it may be in the mid 30s right now but it's going to be in the 50s today we're not supposed to have as much wind as we did yesterday however national weather service did say there's going to be a high pollen count so be prepared for that take your zyrtec um enjoy time with your family have that special time for your faith today I know that we will when we when we go to mass um, and just have an overall wonderful day and always remember no matter what no matter how bad things are going always maintain relentless forward motion keep on going forward and with that being said for certain for private Gus laying in the back this is Sergeant Woodard and we are out <laughs>